does show that people that are that are optimistic, that have a good attitude towards life, have uh, uh, more health in their aging. All three characteristics that have been found in the, the literature that are associated with healthy aging. So being mentally and physically active, being engaged with life, and avoiding, or sometimes it's not possible to avoid, but minimizing disease and our, the disability that comes with disease. So starting with physical function, it's very important to, to maintain a healthy weight and to eat healthy. So I'm sure you're all familiar with Canada's Food Guide, and these, these are the suggestions from Canada's Food Guide around healthy eating. So to eat a variety of grain products, quite a few grain products, in fact, 12 servings a day, up to 12 servings a day, which is a lot, can be a lot of, of uh, food to eat, and milk products, vegetables, and fruit. So research has shown that people that maintain a healthy diet following these guidelines um, can expect to, to feel better. And when you feel better, then you can do more things. Now, the, the challenge, of course, is to follow the diet. Because we all know, we all have episodes of where we're not so keen on eating. And so it's important to, to be as, as diligent as one can be around um, following and trying to maintain the guidelines as suggested by Health Canada. Is as harmful so it says Health Canada, to your health as is smoking. And we see that every day, I see that every day in my practice, either in the clinic or in the, in the hospital. People who come in the hospital and unfortunately can't move very much or don't move very much for whatever reason, become more and more uh, deconditioned and then that creates problems, falling and other sorts of uh, issues. So inactivity, um, is ex activity rather is extremely important to one's health. So inactivity can lead to loss in your bone strength, muscle strength, heart and lung function. And conversely, when you have a high level of muscular function, you have fewer functional limitations. And that's the, the benefit of physical activity is to keep yourself active enough that you can do what it is you need to do to keep you to maintain your life in whatever way you want to maintain your life. And of course, we all know that physical activity is associated with lower levels of diabetes and heart disease. Even modest levels, research has shown, even modest levels of physical activity can decrease or attenuate the loss, weight loss that's associated with frailty. So being active will help you to feel better, you'll eat better, you'll feel hungrier, and as you keep your weight up, then you'll, you'll do better in terms of your health. So it's very, very important to be active. If I could write a prescription every day, it would say walk, because that to me is one of the best activities that a person can do to maintain their physical health is to walk. Fitness benefits can, can accrue to you at any age and at any level of activity. So even what seems to be the most modest type of activity can be very beneficial to your health, and you're never too old to, have to start exercising. So this just shows you some of the types of activities that you can do and then the caloric value of each of those activities. So something even as simple as washing the dishes for 15 minutes can, can use 40 calories. So here's some examples of different types of activities that people have been involved with. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner that you don't even have to be able to walk to do physical activity. You could be sitting in a chair and doing weights or playing with you know exercise balls or whatever. So, uh, but we know that as we age, there, there is some changes. There are some changes that happen with our with our mental function, and these include things like decreased reaction time. So it may take you a little bit, take, may take us a little bit longer to do things that normally we could have done much more quickly when we were younger. There's generally though no decrease in your general knowledge, so you can keep learning as as long as you live. And it's important to keep learning, as somebody suggested. All of those things help in terms of keeping you active mentally. There are some changes, and generally no change in personality, although that's often one of the myths that people say, oh, as you get older, you get more cranky and more this and more that, but you don't. Your personality generally stays stable if you're, if you're healthy. What does change, though, are there are some changes in memory. And I don't know about you, but I've had, there's many times I've gone into a room, and I look around and I say, hmm, why did I come into this room? And I have to go back out and start again so that I, I know myself that I'm having there's some changes in my memory. So our short-term memory does decline with age. The other type of memory that uh, sometimes changes is 
what's called prospective memory. So your memory to remember to do things in the future. And I know that we all have strategies for trying to get around that by writing down notes or doing uh, little reminders to ourselves to deal with this prospective memory changes. Our long-term memories, as I'm sure you can all know and suggest, remain very intact. So you can probably tell me about when you went to school, what the school was like, who your teachers were, and those kinds of things, because that, that type of memory stays very, very well preserved. And it's something that you can use then to help in your, to, when you engage in discussion. So once people start to notice memory changes, they often get concerned about, oh dear, is this the beginning of dementia? And uh, I have many patients come to our clinic and that's their first concern is that they're, you know, they've noticed their memory's changing, is this dementia? Dementia is more than just memory loss, but it's memory loss that's associated with some type of functional problem. So you're having trouble paying your bills, you can't remember to draw, how to drive, you don't know uh, how to manage your medications, those kind of things. And those changes happen over a, a period of time. So if you've, if you've had this memory loss with function for a couple of weeks, maybe there's something else going on, it's not dementia. Fortunately, most people don't develop dementia, but it does increase in frequency as we age. Uh, the National Institute of Health in Washington recently uh, brought together a panel of experts to look at dementia because people ask us all the time, what can I do to prevent dementia? Is there anything I can do to prevent dementia or to keep it, if I have it, to keep it from getting worse? Unfortunately, there's not any good evidence that anything that we do can prevent dementia, but there are things that we can do to keep our brains healthy, as healthy as we can. So how can we enhance or promote our own brain health? In order to do that, you need to do things like doing mental exercises, crossword puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, number puzzles, whatever. Um, so people will say to me, well, I read a lot. And uh, reading is very, very important. But the thing to, to do with the reading is to tell somebody about what you've read, because that requires you then to remember something and then to have to, a discussion with somebody about it. Playing a musical instrument is very, very important and helpful if you, if you know how to do that. It's very good for one's brain. Eating healthy, as we said already, and being active physically. So all of these things um, can help us to stay as healthy as we can in terms of our mental function, our brain function. Doing whatever you can do at whatever age will have benefit for you in the future. And this is just some examples of people doing various activities. Um, any type of activity belonging to a social group. I know some apartment buildings, they have tea groups. So, so all of those types of activities are very important and enhancing uh, one's life. So as we know, it's, there are certain changes that happen that are inevitable with aging. So your vision perhaps isn't as good as it used to be, your hearing isn't as good as it used to be, your skin is kind of like sagging a little bit and so on. And your muscle strength can, can diminish if you don't use your muscles. So it's very, very important then um, to think about those kinds of things that happen, but try to accommodate or overcome those age-related changes in some way. So we who work with older people and, I, and who are older our, ourselves, such as myself, we often talk about something called compressing morbidity. So what you want, you want to do, what we all want to do, is to, to minimize or shorten the amount of time that we spend in illness as possible. So I always say to myself, I want to die as healthy as possible. So if that, I know that sounds kind of funny, but you want to really try to promote your health and to look after your disease, in fact, if you have disease. So we know that cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of adults, and particularly adults over the age of 65. So it's important, as this slide says, to avoid behaviors known to shorten your life, such as smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, um, and to maintain a healthy weight again, and to control all those cardiovascular risk factors. So if you have diabetes, make sure your diabetes is well controlled. If you have high blood pressure, make sure your high blood pressure is well controlled. Uh, see your health practitioner periodically, and then consider things like preventative health care, such as vaccinations. Influenza vaccinations in the fall are very important for all of us, healthcare workers and older people, uh, and pneumonia vaccinations. If my goal is to, to, to see my granddaughter married uh, and to go to a wedding or to do whatever, how can we work to, to do that? So it's important to share your goals and your expectations because sometimes my goal as a healthcare practitioner is different than your goal and if we don't talk about what your mutual goals are, then we can, we can get into potential problems.